Hello everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Dead Space. I'm Snow, and if you're just joining us right now, then what is wrong with you? Go back and start from the very beginning. Okay, before we begin anything, time for the cutscene. Things are looking up. A military ship just shocked in. Huh. The USM Valor. I don't know what it was doing out there. It must have gotten our distress signal. We can't talk to it until the comms array is fixed. I'm gonna hack the door to communications for you. Get in there and find the comms control station. Someone's already come. Huh. I'm not sure if that's a good sign or a bad sign. On the one hand, uh, military vessels just might have a kind of wide and frequent patrol route that would allow one to actually, you know, get, get this uh, distress signal and respond this quickly. That's entirely possible. I've seen that. Or they could know something. Something that I don't or should know. Ah, oh, jeez. Yeah, I, I'm not entirely sure how I should feel about that. So, um, yeah, today I'm gonna finally get to the reason why I decided to tell- Oh, you know, I know? I decided to tell the story- the story I'm telling first, cause it's- Uh, one second... It's just... Uh, oh, oh, jeez, I'm running out of health packs. That's not good. Um, I can only get one small med pack. Can I get- yeah, Let's hope that's enough to hope that's enough to last me. Cause I'm not. I'm. I'm gonna be in trouble. All right, let's see. What's in here? I don't trust this. Something's here. So um. No, it's. I knew it. These things have got to be organized. Oh. Okay, that was weird. Yeah, um... Usually, when I tell stories, I'm used to calling things people by their actual name, that when... I, you're not... When that when that information is kind of a spoiler in the story, I... I sometimes almost... I sometimes slip up, and I have to catch myself. So, I remember the one time, during this whole thing, uh, the story I was telling everyone, um, I almost slipped up and said the name of something I shouldn't have said yet. So now we get to the point where we figure out what that name is. I don't have to worry about that anymore. So yeah, I'm a little excited. Let's change to screw up. So, uh, where to begin? Um, well, it was a real- Ah, oh, jeez. These guys look fresh. I think that's why- they're tougher. Okay, so anyway. It was a relatively more mor ah normal I would say normal. Normal morning. At least by the standards we had gotten used to. When uh for some reason, of all times now, uh my brother he Look over at Spoons and said, Hey, by the way, Spoons, where'd you get that arrow? And if you forgot, it was a strange arrow made of stone that someone gave us these weird powers. Well, weird er powers. Oh, it's gone. Okay. And despite the fact that we had powers, well, unex new powers that we didn't have a decent explanation for, we hadn't actually bothered to ask her that. Th that seemed like an important question. Something. Where did you get this strange arrow that gave us new powers? But yeah, I, I honestly have no excuse for why we didn't ask her earlier. Uh, it's packed up, and I think it should be down to just one more med pack. If my math is correct. Oh no, my math is incorrect. I don't think I've ever been so happy to have my math be incorrect. But um, let's see, I'm going okay, but I should probably pick up some more stuff. Shouldn't have enough money to get some more ammo. I'm more concerned about ammo than I am med packs. Uh, so first. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I definitely need more ammo. Ooh, 
Nice. Okay. Oh, yeah, I think I should probably mention that we were, like, sitting around a breakfast table. That, that, that would probably... Add, that's Yeah, that sounds like important context to explain why we were all just standing... Or, not standing, but sitting around in the house. Yeah, that that was sounds probably important. And so, my brother... It's here, right? Yeah, it is. My brother asked for that spoon, suddenly... Um, she has to finish chewing what she's swallowing, I remember, because she kind of made this weird sound. Uh, uh, I think... Wait, where did it go? Was it two or three? Eh, let's try two. Oh, wrong button. Oh, it was too close, okay. Wait, what? No, come on. Okay, I guess I'm going to floor three. Isaac, the door to communications oh. is open. But I've been getting some weird feedback spikes on the local comms. I think someone's listening in on us, so be careful. It's probably that weirdo who made the... That regenerator thing. Yeah. I really want to be done with him, but I know that we're gonna meet again. And, ah! The lighting is just... Yeah, look, there, there's no light bulb of any kind. This isn't a power problem. The ship's got enough power by the looks of it. It's just really horrible design. Like, like insanely horrible design. I, I can't get over this. I, I just can't. How did this ship pass inspections? How? This is, this is insane. This is just insane. One more time. Oh yeah, um, breakfast table. So when spoon, when my brother asks spoons, like you know, where did you find the arrow? She, uh, she's only like, uh, cause she's chewing on something right now, so she couldn't really talk. So she just kind of like, starts making like excited, excited head gestures, like I think. Oh. Okay, I see. And after she swallows, it, she says, "Oh." Oh yeah, that's right, I totally forgot, guys. There's this weird temple placey thing where I found the had arrow at. And this gets everyone's attention because... Ah, oh, jeez, another one. This gets everyone's attention because the whole reason why she was just wander... why he, her job was to wander around outside, you know, was to look for places like this and, you know, say, hey, I found this place, let's go explore it. But... And I don't think that, actually, now I think about it, I don't think we ever got an actual explanation for why she forgot to mention it. Maybe it was a strange arrow. I think that's why. But yeah, she forgot to mention that there was this temple. Uh, which, yeah, I think it's because of the arrow, but we never really, she never really explained why. Huh. You know, I'd have to ask her about that. Yeah. So, uh, oh yeah, oh, jeez, I forgot something, um, wait, is that, oh, man, Are you okay? Uh, no, no, get away from him, get away from him. Is it? I saw something on my back. Is that not an... You know what, never mind. These things don't make a lot of sense. Oh, I could probably just... Oh, yes, ammo. Uh, yeah. That's what I thought. Nope, just enough. Ooh, that looks valuable. Any valuables. Yeah, I forgot, I forgot something important I should have mentioned. Uh, oh, that's what I got. What kind of... Yep. Uh, last night there was this uh, a falling star, and normally that wouldn't really be uh, noteworthy, except it kind of crashed into the planet. If the thunderous pounding sound and the lights we saw were any indication, so yeah, um, that was kind of important. I really should have mentioned that. Uh, yeah. So, what we were gonna do was gonna go check out this temple, but oh, one second, is it audio? Yep. Communications log. 
First comms operator Bailey reporting. The ship is under attack, but requests to issue a distress call have been repeatedly denied by Captain Matthias. He won't say it, but everyone on the bridge knows why. This is an illegal operation in a prohibited system. We've all known for months, and we kept our mouths shut. Not anymore. Mayday, 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 this is USG Ishimura. This is... What the hell? I don't believe this. The whole comm system is offline. Now he's gone too far. Bailey out. All right, so we've got an explanation for uh, the comm system being offline. It's not just everything's so horrible at every important system that you don't need to live is not working. Oh, power node. Yeah, probably should have used the one uh, the station down there before. But yeah, we can actually explanation. They didn't. Uh, the captain didn't want people communicating on the ship. Pe the captain didn't want people on the ship communicating with other people because this is totally a no-no. All right. Okay, that's an actual legitimate explanation, and I can actually deal with that. So I've seen. I have definitely seen stupider. Uh, capacity or speed? Um. Let's go with capacity. So I just need... I think I just need one, two, three, four more power nodes, and I've upgraded this gun completely. So yeah. Uh, where was I? Um, uh, telling stories is one thing, but playing a game at the same time, it's totally different. I'm used to telling stories. I, I've told... I've frequently told bedtime stories, so where am I? Oh, I shouldn't mention that. Shouldn't, shouldn't mention that. I'll get to that later. Like, much later. But yeah, I'm used to telling stories, just not doing other things when I'm telling stories. Alright, is there something gonna attack me? It looks relatively safe. Oh! Yeah, it was something's gonna happen. So yeah, um, we were gonna go out to uh, explore this temple place, uh, but Sid and Phyllis, they were more interested in the fallen star that crashed because it might have something we could use, so... Now, normally you don't want to split up a party. Ever. Like, ever, ever. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Alright, let's see what this is. Um... Oh! Oh, I see. I've seen one of these before. Okay, so if if I'm right, the yellow should be working satellites uh, or relays or whatever. Clear should be nothing in there, and red should be not working. So I think what I gotta do is I, yeah, I've seen I've seen this before. I gotta move the yellows into the center ring. I think so. Yeah, I've seen this before. I I know what I'm doing. Uh, huh. yeah. Let's see. Medium air can, I'll take it even though I'm never gonna want one. Whoa. Oh. Okay. See, um, si yeah, never, normally you never ever want to split up your party whatsoever at all under any circumstances, but that's normally when you're in uncharted territory or place you're not familiar with. We were, it had been, um, oh geez, how long had it been? I want to say three months, but that might be a little longer or shorter. I'm not sure, but you know what? I'm just going to say three months. So we didn't really keep... It wasn't really a calendar, and we didn't keep a really tight track of time. But three months sounds... Eh, that sounds about right. So it had been... We had spent like three months here. So we were... Oh, more ammo. Actually, how much do I have? Oh, nice. Oh, I'm still... Oh, wait, that's weird. You can just... Huh. Did not know about that. That is... That is really weird. Okay, so... We were really familiar with the territory here, so... Oh, jeez. <clears throat> After you spent like this long, that long in a place, and you've dealt with the local hostile wildlife for long enough, um, 
you feel more comfortable splitting your group up because you know what you're dealing with, you know what the threats are, you know what to help, what to do. So, yeah, if you're exploring somewhere uncharted, never, if you can help it, split up your group. Especially unless if it's not really necessary. If you're just if you're trying to save time, uh, no, don't do it. But if you're running, if you have limited time, like if you're racing in time, you only have so much time to do this. Like. Uh, it's falling apart or something or whatever, I don't, I don't know, like that, then maybe you can make space for it, but no. Unless you're in a place where you're really familiar with, you should never split up your party. Like, ever! It just... It's begging for trouble to happen. But, by this point, we were pretty familiar with this place, so... We feel comfortable splitting our group up, so... Oh! Got it? What's that sound? Uh, let's pop this. Am I out of health packs? Oh, I am not! Huh, sweet. So I'm in zero gravity area? I think so. So anyway, what happened was, uh... Oh, wait, actually... I think this might be a good time to... I said pine. What did I say pine? Blah. This might be a good time to pause it for now. Uh, yeah, this is decent length. So, alright, everyone. When we return, I will finish what I was going to say. So, I'm Snow, and I am signing off.